sense to be I need to regenerate I'm about to go off like I'm the avatar state and I can say you know, I looked back recently on an interview Yoshihiro Tagashi gave when it came to how he would spend his time after ending an insanely popular manga, and reading it over and thinking about it really made me see how relevant that interview is at this exact moment, and is kinda changing my mind about the future of this series. I have mentioned things from this interview before, I spoke specifically about what his opinion was on getting a new artist to work on his manga rather than doing the art himself because a common question many people kept asking was why he did not just hire another artist to help him out. Of course there are rumors that his wife will help him draw or take over. That's just not true and is completely false. What is true is that she has helped him color his art in the past. But if you want to see the video on what he says about getting a new artist, I would say check it out. It's right here on the channel and will be in the video cards all the way through the video. Now I'm just going to start with this. We're all human and at some point we know what stress feels like, especially when it comes to doing work and if others are counting on you to do that work. But what doesn't help are people who claim to be supporters insulting you. That's not a motivator to keep on doing the work. We'll get back to that thought. The first statements I want to talk about were made before Togashi started this manga. So this is talking about how he felt after abruptly ending Yu Yu Hakusho, his previous manga. He said, and I quote, there were two instances that were the most painful for me. The first was when I was drawing color pages for the dark tournament and my physical condition was really bad. The second time I didn't want to draw manga anymore and I felt nauseous just sitting down to draw. This was the first time I asked the editorial office about quitting at this point. If I'm honest, I'm feeling a great amount of relief at the thought that I have finished writing my manga. It's not that I've lost attachment to the work, but I feel that my stress levels have grown greatly surpassed my will to work. So the reason why I find these statements from Togashi interesting is because we know Togashi has some sort of condition that we really never get a definitive title for. It's rumored to be Lumbago, but that's not confirmed by him. That's just something that an alleged editor or worker at Shueisha said. What we do know is he has mentioned multiple times things like how He's felt so much pain in his own bed and that the ironic part is he feels relief going to the hospital but he can't get himself to get out of the bed in order to go to the hospital because of his already established pain being so high. He's also talked about his heart hurting. He's made many statements like this and we can see in the statements I just read the start of it but it seems writing himself had become very stressful at this time especially to meet deadlines. I find it interesting because he was literally asked if he had planned on ever making a new manga again and he answered saying he only wanted to draw manga that he wouldn't ever show to anyone in order to amuse himself. Or in other words, he would just draw and write for fun, not work, and he said he had no professional work in mind. With that said, I honestly think it was a miracle we were able to get one more great series out of him, and it's arguably the best series. Of course, anime-wise, it's my second favorite, which you guys already know. I've said that like a thousand times, and the new fans will now flood my DMs asking what my first favorite anime is. I actually answered that question very recently on this channel so good luck finding that answer but my main point here is saying those specific statements is that his physical pain was just the beginning and he had no plans to do any professional work but he managed to do it anyway and it was a massive success it is only likely that history would repeat itself only worse though with this series he struggled to meet deadlines with Yu Yu Hakusho and now with this series he did more than that. He has massive hiatuses, including the largest that we have right now. So you can see he struggled to get to deadlines. We see the evolution of that from that series to this series. He also said he doesn't want to die from overwork in this same interview. Since the time of his statements, the only thing we've heard about his condition is that it apparently got worse. And we have obviously seen that the hiatuses have also gotten worse. And hate for Togashi has gotten worse because of childish, immature people who call themselves fans. 
You see, I don't know Togashi personally, but I have zero evidence to go on that this is all a lie. It's I would say that's just selfish if I were to say that Togashi was a lazy liar. So seeing this information, I think I can logically conclude Togashi has a lot of physical pain. And over the years, Backlash hasn't been a motivator for him to actually draw and write again to give us more. So I'm just gonna say it. I doubt we're going to actually see the series continue, at least in manga form. By the sounds of this, it looks like it was a miracle we even got this series to exist. This doesn't mean they won't figure something out with the anime with his permission, but I don't think we're getting much more to the manga, if not anything at all. But if news comes up, I will let you know. But you know, I just figured <laughs> after thinking about all this, this is where I'm at when it comes to this series and the author. So yeah, if news comes up, I will let you know. I would appreciate it if you guys liked today's video before you go. My name's Kondrick, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. And I can say that I'm great, yeah, I can say that I'm perfect. I ain't the one that was out here saving lives, I was purchased. Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic. I'ma send you straight up to my main man, Kondrick. Kondrick, Kondrick.